Good morning, children. Welcome back to your English class. Today we are going to talk about a new topic, pronouns. I want you to watch the video till the end and listen carefully. Before we go further into our topic, let us read the following paragraph. James and Mary were siblings. One day, James and Mary returned from school. James and Mary were very hungry and went straight into the kitchen. James and Mary wanted to eat something. In the kitchen, James and Mary saw a cat. The cat was drinking the milk mother had kept for James and Mary. James ran out screaming. James was scared. James was always afraid of cats. Mary was a brave girl. Mary was not afraid of anything. Mary shooed the cat away. The cat ran out. James saw the cat running away. James came back into the kitchen. James praised Mary for her Mary's courage. Mary thanked James. Now, what did you notice in this paragraph? Can you tell me? Yes, in this paragraph, the nouns are repeated. Nouns to kan siya atro, naming word kan ti ka ni a, ming, til ming, mishing ming, mo, ran ming, ming, shim shim ka, atam em em me ni. Voy tam tak, James and Mary po voy ang mozat kan soya ni. Even the cat, right? So, once on voy tam tak kan soya ni. Now, now let us read the next paragraph. James and Mary were siblings. One day, they returned from school. They were very hungry and went straight into the kitchen. They wanted to eat something. In the kitchen, they saw a cat. It was drinking the milk mother had kept for them. James ran out screaming. He was scared. He was always afraid of cats. Mary was a brave girl. She was not afraid of anything. She shooed the cat away. It ran out. James saw the cat running out. He came back into the kitchen. He praised Mary for her courage. Mary thanked him. Here, in this paragraph, what did you notice? Yes, in this paragraph, the nouns are replaced by another words, such as they, he, she, it. Hemi paragrapha ve thong hitsan, nouns ming tekha mo. Word dangin aron in tlak klinga, tsung te tsu, they, ti te, he, ti te, she, ti le, it, te. Khan aron in tlak klinga ni. Ama kan mua katsuanin, James and Mary tite, cat tite, mo, ka ang ka ania. Ama rato hami vetunga hitsuanin, de tite, he te, she te, it mang tekan, James and Mary tite ka, mo, James tite, Mary tite ka, aron klakling tavekani. De Kanti su plural form manita a, pakat ayatam soy na ani a, James and Mary ayakan, de kan manga. Mo, tsuan cat ayakan, it kan manga. Right, tsuan James ayakan, he kan manga. Mary ayakan, she kan manga. Tiro, so vang tsuan a paragraph po aron toy tadi may ani. So today, we are going to learn more about pronouns. I want you to listen carefully. Now kindly open your textbook, turn to page 50, chapter 18, pronouns. Now look at the passage carefully and read after me. Alright. Rhea lives with her mother in a small cottage by the river. Rhea like roses. Rhea grows roses in the garden behind her cottage. Every morning, Rhea and her mother pluck the roses and sell the roses in the market. 
Ria and her mother work hard to earn a living. Now, her passage is here. Now, no zong zong special names can take her. Asena in that zong zong he. Voi tam tak kan soi non ani. Tero repeated means soi non. Now, if you focus on the words Ria, roses, Ria and her mother. Ria tite, roses tite, Ria and her mother tite he. Mo, he pese siya hanvoy tam takkan soy no nani. Titsuanin, heng, he mi asin hau he, soy nun soy nun lau kan, pronouns ka kan mang don ta ani, heng hau asin aya hiyan. Alright. Now let us read the second passage. Ria lives with her mother in a small cottage by the river. Sentence masabira atuan a noun. Mo special names le. Heti lai common noun mother. Di aka. Ani na ang angkan. Angay angkan. Kan mang pot do na ni. Now from the second sentence. She like roses. She grows them in the garden behind her cottage. Every morning, they pluck the roses and sell them at the market. They work hard to earn a living. Second sentence at chang tuan, Ria ti ayakhan, she kan mang chana. Duro. They. They pluck ati tuanin, they tu, Ria and her mother. Tituanin, them kan ti tuanin, roses. Mo pakat ayatam. De po ka pakat ayatam soy na. Alright. Tituanin. De kanti katuanin. Who are they? Ria and her mother. Dem kanti tuan. Ingin ni. Ing tingi. Roses. Alright. So. Pronouns are used to avoid repetition of the nouns in a passage. Noun ayakan man ka. Pronoun kanti tu alaw ni ta ni. Alright. Noun, ming aya, kan man si tite, dem tite, de tite, kan man aka, pronounce to an law ni ta ni. Alright. The repeated words in the above passage have been replaced with smaller words. Words such as she, de, and dem are called pronouns. Asa na kan so ito ang kan mo, pronounce to to, kan hao bol to in zia ka. She te, dem te, de te, kang ang ka, pronounce kang titu ani. So in the above passages, Ria is replaced with she, and Ria and her mother is replaced with they, and Roses is replaced with them. Ria and her mother ka, they, akang ka ka, Ria tu, may tiyan ani avangin, she ani. Alright, this one, Roses po ka, Roses ti ayakan, them. Di kan kan tla ka ni. Tutu, plural form ni. Alright, dem, de, de, de ka, pakat ayatam soy na ni avangin. Now, turn the next page. Pronouns are words that are used in place of nouns to avoid repeating the nouns. Mo. Pronouns tu, noun ay o akan man chin. Noun kan soy nun, kan soy nun, ming te til, ming mishing, ming te kan soy nun, kan soy nun, aya, ay o tuwa ta na, kan man chi na ka, pronouns kan ti tu ani. Alright, now we are going to learn about two types of pronouns. The first one is personal pronouns. Pronouns sa hen, sitni ya o ma, ti tu anin, amasazo ka atun, personal pronouns, kan zero doon ani. Personal pronouns tu inge ani. Alright, now we are going to read the conversation between Ravi and Amit. The bold words are all pronouns. Alright, bold in ziak zong zong hi, pronouns and miti shat turani. Hello Amit, I have not seen you for ages. Here, I ka. Oh, hello Ravi, you have not seen me because the inter-school football matches are on. How is your cousin Karan? He is the captain of the school team. We practice together every evening. You can come to the ground and meet him and the others on the team. I will come at 5.30 p.m. 
It will be a pleasure to watch them play. Sure, see you then. This one, now I can man. Ming mo kan soy nun, kan soy nun. I can kan man zu personal pronoun ani. Alright, chung tu ing tinge kan ti chuanin. I, you, me, he, we, ti te mo, him, ti te, dem, ti te ka. Alright, personal pronouns. Tetsu, ani. The words in bold are personal pronouns. A personal pronoun replaces a common or proper noun that refers to a particular person or thing. Kan soi tak ang kanin, bold in zia ko zong ka, personal pronouns kan titsu ani. Right, examples. I met Rima yesterday. She is moving to London next month. Rima ayakan, second sentence at zon, she kan mangani. Her brother will not go to London. He is working in India. Mo, brother, ayakan, he kagan mangani. Rima's family has both a car. They will sell it. Rima's family ayakan, they kan mangani. Alright, katikan, personal pronouns kan shitya mem. Now, personal pronouns can be divided into two types. They are subject pronouns. Object pronouns. Now look at the chart. Subject pronouns represent the doers of the action in a sentence. Subject pronoun to sentence masabira pronoun kan man masakbira ka. Subject pronoun to alaw ni tani. Right. Til ditua ka. Now the first one. Use the pronoun I when speaking about oneself. Example, I like dancing. Use the pronoun we when speaking about oneself and someone else. Example, Priya and I are friends. We like dancing. That's one, we ka, subject pronoun. Alaw ni tani. Mua. Tituanin. The third one, use the pronoun you when speaking to one person or many. Example, Karan. You are a good singer. You tutunge. Mo Karan. Tuvan Kaka. Subject pronoun. Use the pronoun she for singular feminine nouns. She tu. Me tsipakatsuinan kan mang china. Mo. Example, this is Puja. She likes to play chess. Zon, she po ka, subject, pronoun ani. Use the pronoun he for singular masculine nouns. He tu, mi po pa kat soinan kan mang china ni. Example, this is Manav. He likes to play football. He tu, he. He ka, subject, pronoun sa man nila ni. Use the pronoun it for all singular nouns for animals and things. Itsu ingatan ngay kan man kan titsuan til le run mo suin nan kan mang china ni. Example, this is a squirrel. It leaves on that tree. Here, it. Kato squirrel di nakani. Dura. So, it is subject pronouns. Hey, sentence. Full stop aron om tia. Sentence masabir aron nile tia. Kata khan. Pronouns ka. Aron om hangal kan, subject pronouns ani. The last one, use the pronoun they for all plural nouns, person, animal, or thing. They tu, mishing, ramsale, til nung lo. Atan, kan mang china ni. Pakat ayatam soy nan. Alright, examples. These are fruits. They are juicy. Those are schoolboys. They are playing hockey. Here, fruits. Ani ituan? Fruits ka pakatso anilawa ni ito. So, vantuan, they kan mga ni. In the next line, school boys. Boys. Mo, pakat ay na tama. So, vantuan, they kan mga le ni. Sentence kan soy chale ang subject pronouns to. Sentence. Turing renga atir bera. Pronoun alaw umtuan kang ka subject pronoun ani. 
Now let us move on to the next one. Object pronouns. Object pronouns represent those receiving the action in the sentence. Object pronouns to verb zoa pronoun lo om ka object pronoun kanti tsu ani. Alright. Action lo receive tu ka. Mo ka ka object pronouns kanti tsu ni. Now let's look at the example. I like to play cricket. Father gave me a beautiful bat. Hata hian object pronoun tsu me ka lo nitani. In vang nge kanti chon, gave hi verb. Ka alaw ni a verb to tilti kanti a. Tiro? Ni em? Di chon in? Mi ka object pronoun alaw ni ta ni. Second, Ravi, you are in the school basketball team. The coach will give you a new uniform. Here also, you. Nung sentence nung zo ka mi ka, you ka, object pronouns kan di ito ani a, ing vangye, verb ka, give ka, masa zo ka o mavangin. Next, he, Navin, is a good player. The coach will make him. Who? Navin. Mo, the captain. Ita po, verb, make ka ron masa ni. Tiro, she, Tina, will go to London tomorrow. I will take her, who, Tina, to the airport. Tapo, her, he, object pronoun ani. It, the book is on the table. Sima will keep it. It, so inge, kanti itzon, the book. In the back, itzon, it, ka, object pronoun kanti itzoni. We are making a poster. Mother gave us paper and crayons. Katiang zelkan. Verb. Zoa. Mo. Ye omreng reng akha. Pronoun omreng reng akha. Object pronouns. Kanti tsu ani a. Hemi example a po hiyan. Mi te, iu te, him te, har te, it, us, them. A blue color in textbook in enzon. A blue color in ziak song akha. Object pronouns. Kanti tsu ani. Verb. Zoa, verb, nunga, a omze lang object pronouns to. Alright. Pink, zong ka subject pronouns an ni a. Let's on, and the words in blue are object pronouns. Alright. Now, the pronoun for the person speaking is called the first person. Person spoken to, second person. And the person or thing spoken of is called the third person. Now let us look at the table. Now if you look at the table, we see singular and plural. And the person, first person, second person and third person. Now let us learn more clear about this. Person speaking. To so you make to a first person and ni a second person to person spoken to. Tu kan vasoy na akha. Mo, third person to, person spoken of. Kan ti chuan, kan til soy chan chin na te. Mo, alright. Here singular, subject, object. Plural, subject, object. Now listen to me carefully. Alright. Hihi, thiam to ring kadu ubok chau ni. I want you to learn by heart this table. Alright. Now, first person, singular, subject pronoun na chuan, I. Ti chuan in, first person, singular, object a chuan, I ka, me, alo ni ang. Alright. Second person, singular, subject pronoun na, you to. Second person, singular, object pronoun na po, you, alo ni ang. Alright. Third person, singular, subject a, he, to, object a chuan, him, alaw ni ang. She, to, object a chuan, her. It, to, object a po, it, alaw ni tawang. Alright, now plural. 
First person, plural, subject are we to object pronoun at one, us. Second person, subject pronoun plural are you po object at one, you. You to angai vik ani. Alright, you to angai vik ina omdon. Third person, plural, subject at one, they. They to object pronoun at one, them. They to them. Plural. And ni o heng ho here. So I want you to learn by heart this table. And, and your assignment will be submit the video of the by heart table of singular and plural subject, object, subject, object pronouns. Alright. Singular subject in Tianga. I, you, he, she, it. Singular object, me, you, him, her, it. Katiang tse khan plural po subject, object. Right. In tiam, in lao khan, in so yanga, singular le plural subject, object, subject, object. Pronounce ka, min lao thonang video in. Right. And you will send me this video before 10pm this evening.